think of one or two adults, maybe some politicians who could <laughs> yeah. use, what? yeah, maybe yeah. just oh. a few. Maybe yeah. we should draw some stickers here at COIN. Yeah, and we could yeah, yeah. send them, yeah, yeah our little messages, right? Yeah, sure. Like, just smile. Yeah. <laughs> Just be nice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah, great great thing they're doing out there. Um, I miss the Northern Lights again. Apparently they were out I last night. I still haven't night. seen them. Yeah, same. I yeah. yeah, I mm -hmm. even missed them last night. I was too busy oh. watching a movie. Oh, oh. well, yeah. if the weather guy misses them. <laughs> then then, 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 really then you're happen. in good company. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, at least our cameras here in the networks of Coin6 were not able to miss them. We were able to capture them out towards the Canby area thanks to the Swan Island Dahlia's camera for showing us those subtle shades of green and also those pinks and purples all determining the different elevations of the magnetic energy. But maybe you were lucky enough to actually pick up an image or two of them. We'd love to see them. Scan the QR code right here on your screen and that will direct you to coin.com where we can continue the conversation over there. As many of you have already done, just some spectacular shots coming in from Eddyville, Oregon and Somerville, Oregon as well. So thank you all for sending in your Northern Light photos and videos. Now, as far as tonight's potential goes, really kind of lackluster. We see that viewing line once again retreat its way further up to the north and expect it to continue to move in that direction as we work our way into tomorrow evening as well. Now, the Northern Light's extremely difficult to forecast, but what we are good at forecasting is the cloud coverage, which is a for sure sign of putting an end to that visibility, and that's exactly what we expect to see tonight as those temperatures fall back into the 50s. Right now, all is calm, quiet, and cloudy over our heads in downtown Portland as we hover right around 70 degrees or so. The winds relatively on the calm side out of the east at about seven. As our temperatures up now in the I-5 quarter, managing to get up into the low 70s, if not even the mid 70s for places like Corvallis with 50s and 60s found along the coastline. But our temperatures down compared to our afternoon high about this time yesterday, where we got up into the low 80s, down by about 10 to 15 degrees in many cases. But lackluster in the rain department as well. Salem picking up one one hundredth of an inch, almost a quarter of an inch out towards Astoria. The rest of us just still holding on to a lot of those goose eggs and will likely continue to do so as we move our way through the next 24 hours. We see the next bank of clouds already starting to push their way on shore. Wouldn't be surprised if maybe a pickup on a stray raindrop or two for the rest of this evening, but it will not be widespread and it will be low impact as your green bikes are good to go for the rest of this evening for maybe a little bit of a ride around the city as we fall back to about 60 degrees. Now we are keeping a close eye on Hurricane Milton right now over the Gulf of Mexico as it continues to impact much of the southeast. It's going to really kind of stop any new weather flow from moving its way from west to east with the jet stream. We try to get this trough to move its way back over the Pacific Northwest, but not likely to do so. So we will ride out into the mild zone over the next several days as our future cast really shows that the cloud coverage is going to be widespread. Maybe a raindrop or two as we move our way into Thursday. But again, for the most part, we stay on the cool and dry side, helping to maybe fill up the rain gauge to another tenth of an inch along the coastal spots. The rest of us, a lot of zeros, maybe if we're lucky enough, a couple of one hundredths of an inch as the month of October is growing a rain deficit up to about a quarter of an inch so far. So tonight here in the city, cloudy skies, temperatures into the mid 50s tomorrow, warming back up into the upper 60s with mostly cloudy skies. Again, maybe a raindrop or two is a potential with our seven day forecast showing things drying out for the week's end. We get another bank of clouds to move in on Friday, but a picture perfect weekend with highs in the mid 70s and plenty of sunshine for all of those outdoor fall activities. And we don't see maybe more widespread rain until we get to the middle of next week. Oh, okay. okay. So, so we got to be patient. Get those yeah. fall activities out of the way. Mm -hmm. this you got weekend. about a week. Yeah, it's like the third or fourth weekend in a row yeah. that's been. Yeah, we've been Perfect. lucky. It's been pretty sweet. All right. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, coming up, a 